Hello friends, this video on 3 dimensional geometry part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 11. For example, here also we define the angle between these two lines. So for these kind of lines, I know that again I define the line vectors that is parallel to these two lines. So let B1 and B2 be the line vectors. So B1 will be here 2i 5j minus 3k right 2i plus 5j minus 3k and b2 vector will be minus 1 8 4 minus i plus 8j plus 4k so i have b1 vector i have b2 vector i have b1 vector b2 vector finding cos theta is not that difficult cos theta is b1 dot b2 by magnitude of b1 magnitude of b2 correct and this is pretty simple b1 vector I know is 2i 5j minus 3k 2i plus 5j minus 3k there is a dot product dot minus i plus 8j plus 4k by magnitude of b1 b root of 2 square 5 square minus 3 square 2 square plus 5 square plus minus 3 square and here will be minus 1 square 8 square 4 square minus 1 square 8 square 4 square this is the magnitude of b2 so if you solve this 2 into 1 minus 1 becomes minus 2 plus 5 into 8 is 40 and minus 3 into 4 is minus 12 right by 2 square is 4 plus 25 plus 9 let me write this root over 4 plus 25 plus 9 this become 1 plus 64 plus 16 right this is nothing but 40 minus 14 that is 26 this becomes 25 plus 9 29 plus 9 is root 38 and this is 64 plus 16 plus 1 that is root 81 this is nothing but 26 by root 81 is 9 and root 38 leave it like this so this is my cos theta so my theta will be cos inverse of 26 by 9 root 30 and that is my answer. So if you see finding the angle between these two lines very simple. You have to first find the vectors, line vectors which are parallel to these lines. I found b1, b2 and then find the angle between these two vectors. Here you have to find the value of p such that these lines are perpendicular. So here I have line equations given. And then the first thing I have to do is I have to find the uh, line vector which is parallel to this. So I have b1 and b2 vector. Let's suppose I have to find the line vector that is parallel to this. But if you see the equation is not in the form we are looking for. The general equation of the line is nothing in this form x minus x1 by a1 is equal to x minus x2 by b1 is equal to z minus z1 by c1 this is the form of equation actually i have since i am taking b1 here so let me pick, take this as p and q vector let's suppose right the two vector which are parallel to this line are p and q vector so this is general form of equation but here if you see is 7y instead of y it is 7y right so i have to make this up this is 7x the negative here so I have to make this of, of this form x minus something right this guy also y minus something so let me convert this into the form I am looking for so this has to be x minus x1 so I will uh, make it x minus 1 by minus 3 so this is x minus x1 now this is y minus y1 so I will make it y minus 14 by 7 that is 2 by 2 by 7p I divide everything by 7 so I got this equation and this one is correct actually this equation becomes x minus 1 by minus 3 by 7 p. Why? I divide this by minus 1 by 7. This becomes y minus 5 by 4. 1 is correct only. This becomes z minus 6 by minus 5. So th thus if you see these equations now follow this pattern. Correct. Don't solve the question in haste. The first thing you have to make sure that the equation that is given is in this pattern x minus x1 by a1 
x minus x2 by b1, z minus z1 by c1, where x1 by 1, x2, x1, sorry, y1 is y1, yeah. This x1, y1, z1 are the points that the line passes through, and a1, b1, c1 are the uh, uh, line vectors which this line is parallel to. So, with this, I can make out that p vector is nothing but, I should not use p also because I have p word here. So, let me use ln word here, ln m, l vector and m vector. So let L vector and M vector will be the uh, line vectors parallel to this. So L vector here will be minus 3i plus 2 by 7pj plus 2 giga. This will be the L vector that is line parallel to this line, line vector parallel to this line and M vector that is line vector parallel to this line will be minus 3 by 7pi cap plus j cap minus 5k cap. Now since this line is the parallel, L dot m has to be 0 or I can say that minus 3i plus 2 by 7 p j cap plus 2k cap dot minus 3 by 7 p i cap plus j cap minus 5k cap has to be equal to 0. This becomes minus 3 into minus 3 by 7, that is 9 by 7p. 2 by 7 into 1, that is 2 by 7p. Plus 2 into minus 5 is minus 10. Minus 10 is equal to 0. Now you solve this, you get 9 by 7p. Sorry, 9 plus 2, 11 by 7p is equal to 10. Or you get p as 7 into 10 by 11. That is 70 by 11 and that is my answer. So this question was simple. The tricky part was the equations of line was given was not in the standard format. So the first thing I did was I converted this equation into standard format. Once my equations are in standard format, I can very well easily find the, uh, the L vector and M vector that is uh, the line vector which is parallel to this line and this line. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.